Fox and Grey's Anatomy usually get their hands a little dirty too, or their lips in Ellen Pompeo's case. Yeah, she's kissing men who aren't her husband. It's oh a very my God, serious it's her thing. job, Jason. Yeah, it's all in a day's work when you're on a hit TV show. Change is necessary. Can the show survive this? <laughs> It's not a great idea to have expectations here. Anything is possible. Grab the paddles. Grey's Anatomy knows how to keep fans guessing. Yes! The ABC show, which is well into its 13th season, is still going strong, and E! News hit up the set of the fan fave drama. Whenever we lose anybody, it's hard. Fans were shocked when Patrick Dempsey and Sandra Oh both made an exit from the show, and while Ellen Pompeo, a.k.a. Meredith Grey, has been there from day one, we can't help but wonder if her character will stick it out to the end. It's kind of hard to walk away from something that's such a success. As long as I have the passion, I'm in it. I'll feel it. I'll know when I'm ready to go. So is that a yes or a no? Bailey replaced you with who? Kepner. All right, well, what about Meredith's love life? Girls gotta be getting some action this season, right? Maybe with Dr. Alex Karev, Justin Chambers' character? It would be like kissing their brother. Anything is possible, but I personally, I, I find it to be weird. I don't see it. Wait, I've been looking for you all day. I've been here. I've been sleeping. You know, kissing guys that aren't your husband is, you know, it's a little weird. I guess it wouldn't be if you didn't like your husband, but I happen to be very, very fond of mine. Ellen's been married to Chris Ivory since 2007, and the couple share three kids together. As for balancing her personal and professional life, well, Ellen confesses she can't complain. All mothers struggle. I can't say that I struggle. I have amazing help, have a great husband, I have a nanny. Um, I'm blessed that I get to work in a situation where my kids can come and visit me. Um, my boss is fantastic about working mothers, and she's, you know, very compassionate, and I get whatever I need.